Copperheads win two tonight as they take down the top team in the GLSEL, the Lima Locos. And Kevin, when you look at these two games, it was a very good performance overall by the Copperheads. We'll go to game one first. They won that one five to zero. And the first thing you have to talk about, the most notable thing was the pitching, a complete game shutout for Joe Wall. Joe Wall was absolutely fantastic. Uh, it was his third start of the year. He did very well in his first start. He kind of struggled a bit last Sunday against Lexington, uh, but he was fantastic here today, and the team absolutely needed it. Uh, you can't really say too much more about his performance other than uh, just crucial for where this team is so far this year. And the offense did just enough to win the ball game. They actually took advantage of a number of miscues by Lima. They're usually a good ball club as far as defense is concerned. They weren't in game one of this ball game, and that led to what was that first victory. Then game two came around and it was kind of an interesting ball game. Southern Ohio scored seven runs in the second inning, but from there, they were pretty silent. They, they won seven to four and it took a pretty good pitching effort again for them to come out on top. Yeah, it really did. We saw that explosion, but ever since that, uh, the Copperheads really struggled. They couldn't seem to get much of anything going, but as you alluded to, the pitching was once again just absolutely great. Uh, Danny McMurtry got his first start of the season, and I got to tell you, I was very impressed with what I saw out of him and the bullpen. Once again, lights out, and that's exactly what this team needed. Huge wins against the top team in the league. Uh, you can't really t say too much more about today's effort other than just a great two wins. McMurtry the winner in game two, and Josh Rader got the save. And then as far as the offense was concerned, you had a home run from Blaze Salter, also from Ben Netzel. And then after the game, we caught up with another offensive guy that had a great game. He's riding a 10-game hitting streak, Dan Schmidt. And we talked with the starting pitcher of game two, Danny McMurtry. They both told us about how good this win felt for the team. Um, I felt good today. Uh, normally, I'm out of the pen at Missouri State, but uh, they, gave me the, they gave me the opportunity to start here for here today in the last game of the regular season and I felt felt really good just trying to put the ball in the strike zone and let my defense work behind me. I think that today was just an all-around good performance by everyone. Our pitching was awesome, hitting was awesome and defense was great too so let's try to we're going to try to ride this momentum into the playoffs right now. Following the sweep Southern Ohio goes to 22 and 17 in the GL SCL standings. They are fourth and will take on the Stark County Terriers on Tuesday in the first round of the postseason here at Bob Wren Stadium. It'll be a tough matchup, but you have to like their chances. Oh, I love their chances. Uh, the Copperheads have now won four consecutive games at home, and we've seen them play very inspired here at home as of late. They won the two games in which they played against Stark County here at Bob Wren Stadium, so I think they're in great shape. Uh, as the playoffs roll around here on Tuesday. If you can make it, come out to Bob Wren Stadium at 7.30 for first pitch in that first round of the postseason. If not, you can always listen in to Kevin Noonan and myself as we bring you all the action on either Power 105 in Athens or on CopperheadBaseball.com. Just click on the home link and you can listen in to all the action right there. And also, as I always say, make sure you tune into all of our social media. We have a Facebook page, a Twitter page at Go Copperheads, and most importantly, our YouTube page. Just search Copperheads Baseball and you will find us right there. All kinds of constant updates around the team. But with that being said, he's been Kevin Noonan. I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a recap of the Copperhead sweep of the Lima Locos here at Bob Wren Stadium.